Hi. Ajay Sudha today called me and asked, uh, why are the airlines like Air India and Emirates canceling flights to the US and then because of 5G? Um, and uh, I figured I'll explain uh, what I know about this issue. Um, and I put some slides together to explain that. So why are airlines canceling flights because of 5G? And um, uh, first of all, the US operators, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile acquired uh, what is called C-band spectrum in the 3.7 gig to 5 gigahertz range to deploy 5G networks. They, uh, they acquired the spectrum in 2021 and um, there's, no, the, there's enough bandwidth in there that the download speeds are going to be 20X faster than what you had for uh, 4G networks. So they acquired the spectrum at about $81 billion. They paid FCC and acquired that spectrum um, and they started deploying uh, 5G networks on the cell towers that they own and operate. And uh, they said that they would also start to launch the service on uh, Jan 19, 2022, which happens to be today. And hence all the buzz about uh, flights being canceled because of this when they turn on transmissions. And the main reason behind this is that uh, the airplanes use uh, what is called as a radio altimeter to uh, measure the height of the plane while landing uh, uh, so that you know, they, they know um, how fast they should go and how, um, uh, how high they are before they land the plane. It also turns out the radio altimeter uh, works in the C-band. The C-band is a pretty wide um, uh, spectrum. So the, uh, the 5G transmissions are going to be in the C-band. The radio altimeter is also going to be in the C-band. So uh, pretend, and uh, this is how the radio altimeter works. Uh, it sends a signal to the ground um, and then uh, receives it and, and measures the time of travel to figure out um, you know, the, the height of uh, the plane itself. Now, um, the worry obviously is that because they are um, next to each other, uh, will the transmissions from uh, the 5G C band affect uh, the radio altimeter operation, in which case the planes might get confused about how um, high they are from, um, uh, from, from the ground. Um, the FAA and the airlines claim that not enough testing has been done. Um, however, um, about 40, in about 40 countries with over 175 uh, different networks, they all have rolled out uh, C-band and they've done specific testing related to this and there is no reported issues of uh, C-band causing interference to radio altimeters, but FCC says, FAA says, you know, they're the best in the world and uh, they want to make sure that they want to um, only operate all these um, uh, airplanes once uh, they're comfortable that enough testing has been done. Um, so it's, it's more, uh, once the testing is done, I think, uh, I think it'll prove itself. And I think the planes will start flying again, hope to, See you all on a plane sometime soon. Bye.